no more room in hell. The dead will walk the earth. Who's the main man, Mr. Paul Glover? Yeah, so um, basically today it's about um, introducing ourselves to the instrument a little bit more than we do. If we know everything about it, then it's just going to be maybe a different approach to the whole game. Um, plus we're going to talk about kind of the use of social media um, and how kind of working in a whole new world now, really. It's not all about record companies and um, uh, socking it to the man. It's about kind of doing it for ourselves and using the media that we've got available to us. Um, and the whole YouTube thing is awesome. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. We're going to talk a little bit about the application um, for the guitars. We're going to talk about gear for a little bit. Um, we're going to play through the EP, which is Degrees of Decomposition, my um, debut solo EP. <laughs> because I've never done anything before, uh, first time out from behind a band really, and it's a very comfortable place to be when you're hiding behind loads of different people, and it's scary when you're not, especially when you're doing it all with a backing track, Chris can vouch me on that because he witnessed it all, um, so it's about that, um, it's always being a, a, a brethren, um, and looking after each other, and not being egoic about stuff, and not thinking we're the best, and no one is better, because we should all be collective. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, you will notice that there is spangly graphics and pictures of awesomeness. Um, the, I've got letters missing as well. Check that out. It's a Mutav Gitar Clinic. Check that out. It's like Klingon. Nash Bunesh Lo, Birash Lotai Meh, Koshlaka, Shadiwa, Che, Togovam. Um, we're going to have questions and stuff as well, so if there's anything in particular that you want answering, I'm going to try my best to answer it. It allows us guitarists to get it wrong initially, even though maybe we, we, we were planning to play the note. Um, but kind of throw the listener off a little bit. Um, and sometimes you can do that in really quick passages. If you're playing a million notes an hour, Sometimes it gets lost on the listen, they kind of just go, oh, let me check this guy, I'm showing off. They, you don't really, um, it loses its context. If you put a bend in, in the middle, or if you put a wrong note leading into a right note, the listener kind of takes note. Um, and that can help as well to have people take notice of what you're doing. Um, so there's four finger bends where we bend up on the strings, and we can either bend semitones, remember guys, one fret, whole tones, two frets, or more. We can exa over exaggerate bending. Um, and then we've got the three finger, um, kind of three finger bends. Right, and we've got up, and we've got down. Get on that bad boy. Nice. Yeah. So when you're practicing, sometimes you play a bum note, don't leave it go. Go back to it and yeah, see how it works. That, that's my mantra. Yeah, yeah, if you make a mistake, see it as the best thing. It's like a happy accident and then just go back to it. Keep Live with it until it's not a mistake anymore. Because the greatest vocalists in the world absolutely sound terrible. And then they go, and they just kind of turn the, the tune up. We can do that as guitarists as well. Um, it's very difficult to do that on a piano because you can't bend the note. So if you get a wrong note, you're kind of stuck with it until you mix it with another note as a chord. With the guitar, we can totally bend out of that note. Uh, as Chris was saying there, which is awesome, bending up out of mistakes. And again, mate, yeah, I, I, I love making a bit of a random error because then I can kind of use it and manipulate it to not sound like an error anymore. And it's kind of a bit of trickery. It's good being crap. It's good being crap,
as I say, I've kind of been educated by some really heavy heads, um, and it was tear inducing. Um, so I kind of finished my studies and then locked myself in a room for six months and cried. And I cried a little bit more, and then when I wiped the tears away, I thought, right, well, I need to make this easier. I need to make this available to people. Um, so I sat there and developed a very visual or a very um, a, a, a different approach to the thing instead of communicating it like you can't understand what I'm saying therefore I'm cooler than y'all it was a case of no we need to communicate it so we can all understand it sorry if I've got like a little squint on oh, it's just I don't know what to do with this I don't, don't normally talk well I do normally but not through mics and stuff um, so this is uh, my debut EP and to boost the composition and uh, that's the cover and stuff. Um, me and Chris, the photographer, the videographer there, um, kind of looked at um, developing a YouTube channel about 12 months ago uh, with the help of a guy called Rob Chapman. See a few Rob Chapman guitars knocking about. Absolutely awesome look. Um, and he's kind of the he's kind of the forerunner for this new way of doing things, really, which is we don't need a record company or big um, wallets. We can all kind of just do a little bit more. It, sometimes we sit in a room with a guitar and we think, right, okay, I need to write a piece of music. Go. Um, um, I'll watch The Simpsons. Or I'll play Call of Duty, which is what I normally do. Um, but I thought, right, well, I need something to guide me. And this is a good way of approaching things, I think. Um, so I thought, right, well, I'm, I like zombies. I like guitars. I like pictures of decaying leaves. So I'm going to write myself an EP about zombies. Woohoo! So... It gave me a guide, it gave me like a run of emotions, so I thought, right, well, what would you feel like if you, it was real? Like, oh no, the world's going to end and we're all going to be eaten by flesh-eating killers and... I might even have to like, I mean, wife might want to like, eat me hand. I'm not going to deal with that. I'm going to have to do something like, like, destroy a brain. Ah, all of that crazy stuff. So I thought, right, well, what would that make me feel like? And I tried to put that into song, if you can imagine such a thing. So do some plug it in first. Who's gone wireless? Anyone? Yes, Josh, you legend. Right, Josh, you just won yourself a Diotario t-shirt, dude. Yeah. Well done, Josh. A lot of people were running out. Chocolate Weetabix are amazing. So you, you've run out of chocolate Weetabix, basically. That, why not have that as a note? I want to hear the, that lack of wheaty bisque goodness. I want to hear that in my notes. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man, I'm totally all over those um, chocolate pocket things as well, dude. Oh, afraid. Afraid. <laughs> that turned proper Homer Simpson. Did you say five first? Uh, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, Joe, I don't care. One of you has got it. We're collectively, we're together. We just stand in front of each other. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Let's see what happens. I don't know how big they are. Whoever it fits, I suppose. I don't know. If the, if the Diazario t-shirt fits, wear it. That's what they say. So we've got the blues kind of deal first in C major. <laughs> Now try the 
hopefully that felt like the end of the world. No, maybe not. Um, but it gives me an idea, it kind of got me thinking, right, well, how does a solo sound intense? How does a solo begin with your door being banged down by an army of the undead? Um, so that's kind of where I came to. Um, now you guys who know what you're doing a little bit, or know what you're doing a lot, would have seen a lot of technique in there. There was a lot of kind of alternate picking, there was some sliding, there was some screaming kind of sounds, um, and some chord stuff, and some kind of octave kind of chords, and if this is new to you, it means nothing, I'm talking absolute alien. And um, So we're gonna look at those techniques kind of in more detail. Uh, hopefully they sounded good to you, um, and hopefully there'll be a tool that you can use in your own compositions. So, instruments, axes, and pain machines. Right, so take it easy, go and get drunk, there is some nice, uh, oh sorry, have a refreshing beverage with hops in it. Um, at the bar, Marco and Don will sort you out, it's relatively cheap, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very, very much for coming down, see you later now. Okay guys, thank you very much.